Hey, Peter here from Tin Man. So you've got your Blaze King stove. You've had it for a few years. Maybe not as run as good as it should be. It's time to have a look at the catalyst. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to remove the catalyst in our stove. So we got a Blaze King princess here. I'm just going to reach in, lift up on our guard, pop our guard in. Flat top screwdriver. We just simply go in. There's a little edge right there. Let me see if I can just grab a little light here and show you what we're looking at. Okay. So we've got a little edge right here. I'm just going to take that and kind of move that out. Pry it out a little bit. And there's a gasket in here too, so that's going to be replaced. So you get it enough. You get your fingers on this. And you should be able to slide this guy right out. There we go. So that's our catalyst. Steel frame around it. That's absolutely perfect. So we're going to be right back in a second. So as you can see, this catalyst is absolutely perfect. No cracks, no pieces missing. So we're good. So we're going to stick that back in. But there's a problem. This steel frame is surrounded by a gasket. So let's get back up in here and I'll show you. All right. So this gasket is totally peeled off. And it's not going to be something that you're going to be able to get out and put back in. You're going to need to get that gasket from your local dealer. So we're going to put some gasket on our new one. I'm going to show what that looks like and how we're going to do it. We're going to scrape this off and put a new one back in. So we'll be back shortly. Okay. All right, so we've got the new gasket on. All we did was completely wrap the outside metal layer. And we just used a bit of uh, actually some packing tape. Um, and you can fold it over the sides on the end. It's going to burn off anyway when this gets up to uh, temperature. This goes from anywhere from 500 to about 1700 degrees. So um, we're just going to simply just slip this in. Now this has three lips on it and there's one missing off the top. And this is the top. So this lip will be right down on the bottom. This is our old gasket here that we took out. So that just fell right off. And we're going to take this and slide this back up in place. And it should just slip right in real easy. Actually, you're going to watch out for these little guards. One there and one on this side. All right. Now, let's have a look. I don't like how that feels. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull that back out again because I think I just lost that little guard on the side. Let's just have a look. Should show the guards too. All right, so you see that up there? See what I did? Can you see that, Alicia? Yep. All right. So we got to take this, put this in. See how that wants to fall out? Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. So maybe we'll try it this way. Maybe this will work on here better. Maybe. No, I don't think. Okay, so we're gonna put this back. See the difference? So our two little guards, one's here, one is here. We're going to take this now and stick our guard. And now we're done. So now, so what we've done is we've completely taken out that catalyst, um, checked it over, make sure there was nothing inside. Uh, we looked inside. If there was anything built up inside that catalyst, we could vacuum it out. Uh, this one was actually perfect. So what we're going to do is we put the new gasket on. That's the old gasket that comes out, and you can see how it's just brittle. So we put the new gasket back on, surround it with uh, some masking tape, and we put it back in there. So watch out for the two guards on each side because they can fall off. You can shove them inside. Um, one thing we didn't do, which you could do too, um, when you get that catalyst out, now it's a great time to clean the top of your firebox. So um, that's one good way to get access to any soot that could build up in the bypass. So have a look then. Um, that's uh, how we change our catalyst on a uh, Blaze King Princess.